Mashallah my name is Kanawak from GMS Toronto, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash, the bonds of the apostles of Great Millstone. My name is uh, Kanawak again. Um, this is just a quick lesson, you know, because uh, there's all hell breaking loose, you know, here in uh, the Toronto, you know, uh, the six or the 416 or here in Canada and uh, we see what's going on in New York, you know, um, you know, on the, with the subway stabbings, you know, there's uh, a lot of people who have, uh, who's mentally ill, you know, um, and ultimately, you know, these are spirits, you know, that are, uh, you know, created, you know, because, uh, let's get the scripture. So Ecclesiasticus 25 verse 13 Give me any plague It says It says it says, give me any plague but the Plague of the heart You know because You know because this was um, It says like give me any plague You know like but the plague of a heart You know your Your heart You know it's not your actual heart It's referring to your mind Elab right in the Hebrew Your mind you know, because, um, you know, we see what Esau, what he's been doing, you know, um, where his uh, every year, you know, that like they're making billions of dollars, you know, like for, um, through these pharmaceutical drugs, you know, and that's um, poisoning the people, you know. Pharma. Pharmacia Etymology Because he saw as a witch Alright and uh, You know we know um, You know why all the drugs You know all these things is in our community You know It's uh, ultimately controlled You know by E you know by the bankers by the you know vatican you know but ultimately you know the bankers you know who run these you know like these industries and they're making a lot of profit you know illegal and and legal you know they're making a lot of money man it says um from greek from greek pharmacia it says the use of drugs you know a drug, a charm, enchanter, right? You know, and that's why, uh, you know, this whole society is based off of, man. You know, you might go to a, uh, you might go to the shopper's drug mart, you know, you go to a Walmart, you know, the pharmacy, the, the pharmacy stretch, uh, that section, you know, and, uh, and they're making a lot of money, man. You know, and they're just giving you uh, drugs, you know. They're not really giving you proper medicine, you know, that's going to actually heal you naturally, you know. It says pharmacy, noun. Latin 14th century is pharmacy, a medicine that is rated, I mean, it's like a medicine that is, that rides like the body of excessive of uh you know like of humors except blood also a like, treatment with medicine through of uh treatment of medicine old drug pharmacy you know basically you know you could uh you know do your studies but uh you know it's just witchcraft you know and that's why uh you know, you see all these uh, things. What's happening, man? Um, here in Toronto, uh, the subways, you know, they're uh, being like New York, man. I think last year there was a, a woman, you know, she, uh, you know, like she got thrown off, you know, like uh, off the subway. Right, you know, but she, you know, like she lived, you know, like narrowly escaped, you know, she was a black woman here in Toronto, 
you know, and she uh, and she lived. Uh, what do you call? Um. New York. Yeah, cause there's a lot of stuff, man. Every day you're seeing this shit, man. You know, cause right now, you know, enough enough of our people's catching hell. You know, and uh, like they don't know what's happening, you know, because, you know, they probably have, you know, eating bad food, bad diet, you know, prescription drugs, drinking, met, uh, smoking, whatever, you know, you know, so uh, this is happening, you know, what's happening in New York, you know, it's getting more common, you know, here in, um, here in, uh, this in, in um, you know, like, here in Toronto, it's getting a lot more common, man. I'm about to tell you a story that'll make you sick of teachers beat your kids and get away with it. So listen close, and you'll be mad, no doubt. Now to the new effort to find... Yeah, it's like, this is, um, you know, like, they, um, like, this is for educational purposes. I'm just gonna probably play, like, 10 or 15 seconds. And let's, uh, let's see this prime in our subway system. The plan, just unveiled today, has three parts. Adding more cops, installing more cameras, and placing people with mental health problems at psychiatric centers. It all comes as police continue to search for the suspect in yesterday's unprovoked attack at the Myrtle Wyckoff Avenue station in Brooklyn. CBS 2's Christine Sloan spoke with the victim in an exclusive interview. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I'm not going to play it, but, um, you know, we see what's happening, man. You know? The mental health and um, ultimately these are th things that uh, the Heavenly Father is creating, man, or has been creating, you know. Let's get, uh, let me finish this and then I'm going to get uh, Job 1. Sir, uh, Sirach 25, 13, give me any plague. It says about the plague of the heart, you know, so when you're plagued in your mind, you know, like that's the worst kind of thing that, you know, that you could feel, you know, and you don't want those plagues, you know, so, you, uh, you know, you want to be, you know, stay rooted, you know, um, you know, as an Israelite, you know, and because uh, ultimately if you, if you don't have a, a foundation, you know, of, you know, that which the foundation, the rock is Yahweh Shai, you don't have that foundation, man. You know, like you're gonna be, you know, like susceptible to all kinds of spirits, man. You know, you know, stay on top of your health, go outside, exercise, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, like do what you gotta do, you know, to eat healthy, you know, because, um, uh, there's things happening, man, and you know, people don't, you know, like spirits are jumping on people, man. And any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman, all right? And um, that's pretty much it for that. I think I was gonna get uh, Job. Because uh, like the apostles, you know, like, um, you know, the apostles, he, you know, like the apostle was always talking about that movie with Denzel Washington, uh, Fallen. Very good, uh, you know, movie, you know, for the, you know, like for the brothers, you know, if, uh, they haven't saw this movie, Fallen, with, uh, Denzel. You know, you know um, like, very good movie, so, uh, it was uh, filmed uh, 1998, you know, so uh, very, very good movie, man. And, uh, you know, you know, it says we wrestle not against against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Let's get that. Um, so, I army mean, like a Ephesians 6 and 10 finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might 
put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, you know, so, you know, spiritual demons, you know, on the left hand side, you know, who's, uh, you know, who, who work with, you know, these entities, you know, and these societies, you know, that put in spells on the people, man. All right, so like, you know, like, that's why the Heavenly Father has to protect us. You know, and you know, like protect our mind because you don't want those type of things to uh, plague your mind. And against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the walls of the devil. And having your, having done all. To stand stand therefore having your loins girded about the truth right and that's what we're doing all right and um every day you know it's a fight you know because we're in these chains of darkness man and uh you know you could and you know anything what you do you know you know every day you know anything could happen so we have to stay uh you know balance you know study you know, it says, um, like, study to show thyself approved, right? Let's get that. I think it's, it's, I think it's in, uh, hold on, study to, uh, Second Timothy two and fifteen. Then I'm gonna go back. Second Timothy is two and fifteen. Study to show thyself approved. You know, so we're we're approving, you know, of things that we have learned, you know, and uh we have to try you know because ultimately you know uh like we have to do our own research you know to see you know if uh you know like what you know like what we're saying is true you know and you know because this thing is not to just be on the bandwagon you know as men pleasers you know like we have to do our own research you know and um you know and uh for for myself you know i um i'm going back i'm gonna go back you know to the foundation because i have a lot of uh notes you know from uh you know from 2008 2009 you know i would always go to the library or i would do or I, I, like i'll print out these uh you know that you know by certain certain information you know um at home and uh i have folders and you know of uh, a lot of information man and uh you know so we have to do our own research you know uh, exercise our mind you know our brain you know because your brain is your uh, strongest your is your strongest member you know so uh it says uh Second Timothy two and fifteen. Study to show yourselves approved, a workman, because we're working, man, and uh, you know, like we go on the highways and byways, you know, um, you know, certain brothers go out two, three times a week, you know, um, you know, and other brothers go, uh, you know, that, like, you know, and also, you know, um, apart from going out, you know, um, that brothers make in classes, you know, live streams. You know, and all that. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, but shun, um, it says, like it says, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness, right? So, uh, let's see right there. What's there that gonna get? I'm gonna get a uh, job, then probably close Lord's will. Okay. 
Job 1 and 1. Therefore, it said there was a man in the land of Uz whose name was called Job and that and that man was perfect and upright and one that feared Yahweh and extrude evil, right? So Job was perfect, upright, right? And just like how Jacob, you know, he was uh he was uh he was a plain man, perfect, the same thing. I think it's like I think it's Tamayam, right? You know, so you know, so um like that's the um like that's the trait you know of the elect all right because the two-thirds aren't perfect you know you know like we're tr we're striving to be perfect you know because we're in this in this uh corrupt body it says the mind or thumb perfect it says complete complete perfect one who lacks nothing in physical strength beauty etc sound wholesome you know so we want to be wholesome man. You know, we want the Lord to come and heal us, you know, you know, because we're plagued in our mind, you know, we're, we're, we're plagued by spirits, you know, by people, you know, so we got to, um, you know, you know, that when the Lord comes, he's going to give us that new covenant, all right, Hebrews 8, all right, goes into that. Have an ordinary, quiet sort of person, complete, morally, innocent, have the integrity, you know. And we're having, and like we have integrity because we're telling our people who we are. We're telling the world as to who we are. All right. One who is moral and ethical, pure, you know. And that's what we're hoping to uh, obtain. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. His substance also was seven thousand, thousand sheep and three thousand camels and five hundred yoke of oxen and five hundred she asses and very great household so yeah he, he, you know job was very well established he's he's rich all right he's rich he had cattle he had everything man all right and he, he was very he, he like he'll be like he would be us you know like a billionaire you know you know, because he, he had a lot of cattle, man. You know, camels, you know, all that, oxen. You know, so, you know, he had a house. He, he, so he had everything. He had servants, you know, proper household. So that this man was the greatest of all the men of the East. And his sons went and feasted in their house. Everyone on his, on everyone um his day and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them and it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about that job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offering according to the number of all of job said right because you know job he was offering you know burnt offering right they say that uh, Job was, you know, was, was basically, I think they say it was like before the time of uh, Abraham. All right, so, uh, you know, so it shows you that, you know, that he was still keeping the law, you know, but was orally. For Job said, it w it may be that my sons have sinned, you know, right? So yeah, he's keeping the law and curse Yahweh, and curse Yahweh in their heart so their mind all right because uh you know because maybe they're doing all kinds of things right so you know he was trying to you know that like make sure that you know that his household was you know that was you know that like protected thus did job it says thus job continually now there was a day when the sons of the power yahweh came it said to present themselves on that before the lord so yahweh and satan came among them right so yeah so you know yahweh was the big man you know right? he's the one who controls everything man all right and uh you know you know and satan came all right and you know so it shows you that you know that the lord you know and the heavenly father you know like they have you know 
you know, like power because, you know, you know, because under Yahweh Shai, you know, like he's, um, he's the firstborn, you know, of all creation, you know, so Satan like has to follow orders, you know, like, you know, you know, Satan has to follow orders, you know, of the heavenly father. And the Lord said unto Satan, whence comest thou? Then shall answer the Lord and said, from going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down in it. All right, so there's spirits out here, man. You might see a person, you know, but you don't know that, you know, that person that, you know, could be a, 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 a spirit, man, on the left hand or then, you know, cause um, especially nowadays, man, you know, here in Toronto and uh, the world, you know, um, you know they have all these different agencies and um there's a lot of uh thing what they do you know they do all these witchcraft and darkness man you know like they're like spiritual witch on um, like their spiritual wickedness you know? the lord said unto satan hast thou considered my servant job that there is none like him in the earth a perfect and upright man one that feareth Yahweh and is true of evil. Then Satan answered the Lord and said, Doth Job fear Yahweh for not? Has not thou considered it's not has thou not made a hedge about so you know so you know so this is Satan he talking to the Heavenly Father and about his house and about all that he hath on every side that thou hast it says it said thou that thou has uh it says satan says or like this is satan it says thou has blessed like the lord of his hands and has and his substance in the increase uh, in the in the kind but put forth like thy hand now and touch all that he hath and he will curse thee in the face so this is satan he talking to the heavenly father all right and uh you know like the, he's basically says you know i'm I, if i i know i i could guarantee you if uh you know you know i'm gonna I, i'm gonna test him and i'm gonna t i'm gonna t test and see his uh his his character you know so uh you know so you know the heavenly father and satan you know like they basically you know uh, like they placed a bet you know but you know but you know they uh you know but the heavenly father like he said only that touch not you know his hands you know so i'm gonna read it it said and the lord said unto satan it said behold all that he have is in thy power only only upon himself put not forth thy hand so you're not supposed to like you know like you don't touch him you know but i'm gonna i'm gonna give him a different way you know a different plagues i'm gonna take away his children i'm gonna kill his fa you know i'm gonna get you know and it goes into that you know this is a very good chapter you know job one and two and uh we want to be like job you know because the most i yahweh all right you know and and his son you know you know like our mediator he's gonna redeem us so uh we have to uh you know be you know that be calm and worthy because uh things what's gonna happen you know like things are gonna get a lot more intense we gotta be uh you know like mindful man of these things man so with that let's see i'll praise do unto yahweh and i'm gonna um play like 30 seconds of this lord's will uh, this is for educational purposes so with that let the cell praise you do until you how wash him out share show him now to the new effort to fight crime in our subway system. The plan, just unveiled today, has three parts. Adding more cops, installing more cameras, and placing people with mental health problems at psychiatric centers. It all comes as police continue to search for the suspect in yesterday's unprovoked attack at the Myrtle Wyckoff Avenue station in Brooklyn. CBS 2's Christine Sloan spoke with the victim in an exclusive interview. The victim tells me he can't move.